So we're still working on the Revit site file that we're making, and we're looking at the site tools. Right now we're going to look at split and merge surfaces. So let's open where we left off, 0603. And let's do a couple save as is. 604, begin. Then we could save as. 604 complete. Okay, and let's talk about what we're going to do here. So we're just going to put in some project notes first. So we're going to split and merge surface. So let's go to our 3D phase existing view. And you'll notice here that although we did make a building pad on the topography in existing, it didn't cut the hole in the top. And that's actually just a glitch that Autodesk, they know about this, that when you have an existing topo, the existing pad sometimes will not cut the hole in the top of the topography. For instance, if I go to 3D Phase 2, you can see it's been cut out there. It looks fine. Even in Phase 1, you can get the idea that it's been cut out. So we're going to fix that, and we're going to learn the split and merge tools in the process. So that works out okay. So we'll go to Top of Foundation While Existing. We'll zoom in, and we're going to go to Massing in Sight in the ribbon. Click on Split Surface. OK, click on your topography. Just click on Rectangle, and just draw a rectangle around there like that. Don't lock. You always have to resist that urge. It's a general best practice. You don't want to be locking things in your Revit project file. We'll get to that later. OK, so let's just hit OK to that. So there we go. Now, what do we have? Let's go to 3D Phase Existing under the Project Browser. And here we go. This is its own little site. It's its own little topo. You can move it. You can move it up. You can move it down. You can delete it. You can change its material. We're going to delete it. OK, now just to show you a little bit more about materials and about how Merge Services works, let's just split this again. Let's click on the surface. We can see it's all one right now. OK, so let's go to Split Surface. Now we're going to click on the surface. And we're going to draw a line across, just a small line across the front here. Now I want to go to the top. Just like that. And check. OK, so I'm just going to rotate that back around. OK, so this little piece here, we could make that any material we wanted to. So we could click on that and say, site, we could make it sand. We could make it asphalt. OK, and now it's its own piece. It can be moved up. It can be moved down. And as soon as you move it off of the other surface, though, the merge surfaces generally is not going to work. So let's do that. Merge surfaces. Pick on the primary surface that you're going to use and then click on the piece that you want to join back into the surface, and there it goes. A couple escapes. Zoom out. Let's just change our topographies to grass. So we'll click on the topography, click on material, and then we'll just go down here to site, grass. Okay, and then we'll go to our 3D phase one, because we want to change that one to grass too. So we'll click on the higher one there was the new one. And then we'll just go into the properties. We'll say site grass. OK, there we go. OK, so we have our existing. We have our new. It's all grass. We've got holes dug. We're on our way. So let's go to view, close hidden, and then let's save. Close that down. Good, and we're back on our recent files screen.